Hi everyone, this is Mary Flower again, and I was told in my first video that I need to be a little more upbeat, and the truth is, is I'm an upbeat type of gal, and so I'll, I try to be. I was a little nervous, and so I'm hoping this will be a little better. I love to go to thrift stores and yard sales because I love art journaling. I love just scrapbooking and journaling. And I find that because I'm a right brainer, I like to do my scrapbooking from a more right brain perspective. And I went to, I've gone to a lot of um, thrift stores. I found this book. It's a children's book. I don't even remember what the name of it was, but I'm going to, I named it here, Hats for Sale. And the reason is because I decided that I, I had an idea that I would take all of the, um, pictures that I can find of friends and family, children, grandchildren. And I thought, well, I'm going to see how many I have and I'm going to put them all in a book. And this gave me a really good idea for that. This little spot right here, I actually took my own face when I was six years old and put it right under here. This hat was already there and it fit under there just nicely. I thought it was really cute. Plus I embellished it a little bit with a feather and a, um, little silk flower right there and it was about a little frog but don't even remember the name of it now it's been a while I think I did this about 10 years ago I was really surprised at how many stories were hot behind the pictures of people in hats and I was surprised at how many pictures I had of people of family and friends with hats and I thought you know what this will be fun this will be fun to put it in here so this is what I chose and I'm going to flip through it and show you um, what I did with it what I did is on one side or maybe both. Usually on one side, I took the picture and you'll notice this is my grandfather with a hat, my mo my mother and father with a hat and my oldest brother and me and my sister and our little dollies have hats and I had a hat. And so I wanted to tell the story and I thought this is a good way. So what I did over here, and I think there's a little bit of a glare sometimes here. So I created these little spaces and drew the same kind of hat and probably the same coloring that was used in here of the hat. And then what I would do, I put a little price tag that basically showed the year. And also this line goes to, corresponds with the picture. I gave the hats a name and I told the story and it's amazing how much of a story you can get out of one picture when you do this. And it was, it was fun and it did take a lot of work. It was about 40 hours, but I really enjoyed this. I used some of the elements of the book. And so I choose my books well, because I do like some of the backgrounds that I can use on here. There is me and my mother. I was uh, graduating. So this is called the um graduation hat and over here it shows a picture that i drew of it let me just show you a little closer what the little hats that i drew and my husband i love this hat on him for years years ago he and i call it my hunka hunka burn and love hat this is one of my grandchildren he wrapped the toilet paper around his head and so we call it the toilet paper turban and my brother, he had a funny hat with his little son. And I don't remember what we called that. Just crazy Navy hats. And so he, this little mushroom right here was part of the book. And so if you'll notice, this is my daughter, my grandson, my mom and dad on their wedding anniversary. And one of my ancestors. And I gave them names. Like, for instance, new sister hats. These were new sisters because this is my stepdaughter and this is my daughter. So they're new sisters at that time. So I called it new sister hats. Here are some more of my aunts and uncles. 
and they're called aunts and uncles hats. This is my little brother. He had a little Navy hat because my oldest brother was in the Navy and he sent him a hat. This is one of my ancestors. It was a bonnet. And we call that the, the, her name is Lenore Snow uh, Bonnet. Here's some more. Some of my children, some friends, my grandmother. Now, my grandmother didn't have a hat here, so I put a halo on her because she was perfect. So I called it the grandmother halo. Here's another place where I put the hats. Ancestors, my dad, brother, sister, another ancestor. And I tried to take all these hats and draw them over here. And if you look really close... There's a little tag, again, like I told you, the that tell the year. It looks like a price tag, but it's actually the year. Some more. This is me in a bonnet. My brother that died in infancy, and my son and his dog, some other children of mine, my brother and his trains, A bicycle hat. This is what she wore when she was married. This little picture right here was actually an element of the book. We were writing a tandem here and here. So we have helmets. This is my great grandfather, me and my sisters. This is a karate hat. This is a hat that my oldest son wore when he got his hair dyed. My husband, when he's working on some project here, we have snow caps doing tubing, all sorts of fun things. This is several of my family members that are on top of the World Trade Center. And this is my son that I lost, and I put him in every one of my books and because he died many years ago, and I love him, and so I like to remember him. So what I'm going to do is go back and now and read the poem I wrote for all of this. It says, Generations of Hats, Hats of Young and Old, Hats that Tell a Story, With Some Stories Left Untold, of grandmas, aunts, and uncles, and little brother dear. Hats of guts and glory, of places far or near. Hats that tell a story of people long ago. Of innocent little children, their spirits all aglow. Caps of fun, weird hat, just one, and hats that remind us of sweeter days. Tr plain hats, train hats, hats of work and play, hats of first of everything, hats of needed everything, caps and hats and helmets and hats that make us sing, embarrassing hats, too silly, that make us laugh and cry, and hats that say, just make my day, and hats that say goodbye. Hats of old, hats for cold, reunion caps and hats on hold, hallowed hats and Halloween hats for places in the sky, silly willy nilly hats and hats to make us question why, hats that make us feel that we can almost fly. I hope you enjoyed that, and this is a fun way to scrapbook, write history, and it's kind of artsy and fun, and it's a really fun way to alter a book. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe, and leave me a nice comment.